welcome to my YouTube channel Artech Food. Today we are going to discuss about this uh, uh, relay, which is a big class relay. So we are going to see how it works and how we use this uh, in our HVAC system. We will check with complete wire diagram over here. So let's start. First, we start this relay. We have multiple use of this relay. We can use as a uh, fire alarm interlock, we can use as a light indication, we can use as a trip indication. Whatever we want, we can use as this relay. This is multiple use relay. So we are using here only this fire interlock as a fire interlock. In our HVAC system, there is a fire interlock. So we are using as a fire interlock uh, here. So in fire interlock, in this relay, class relay, there is nine point. Okay, nine point. If you if you know, if you have this relay or if you visit wherever you go in our HVAC system, you can see there is a nine point relay. The number one, this, the one and the four is NC point, always is a NC point. Five and eight is a NO point, which means NO means normally open, NC means normally closed. This nine and twelve is common line. Okay. So in this common, this four, this twelve, this four, this nine, this one is connected each other. This common for NC. This uh, thirteen and fourteen is a coil voltage. There is a coil in every relay. There is a coil. It uh, it uh, maybe it is uh, twenty four or maybe it two forty whatever. This different type of relay. Here we are using twenty four twenty four volt relay. So this thirteen point is a one. This fourteen point is a two. It's meaning we have to put line here and we have to put neutral here. So if we put line neutral here, this uh, NC will become you know and you know will become NC. So before before going this uh, potential we will uh, I will show I will uh, I want to share you this uh, fire turn off how it's work. Fire turn off meaning if there is a fire inside uh, feeding area, inside a mall, inside a complex, wherever our unit is feeding, if there is inside building there is fire, it will stop our unit. It should be stop our unit. So that's why we are using fire turn off. So how you how this fire turn off our affect our network system? I will show you how. There is transfer. We are using 24 24 volt step down transformer. So we put put 20 line neutral here. So it will transfer our step down our voltage from 220 to 24 volt. So from 24 volt there is a two point. One point is neutral. So we put neutral here a two, which means 14 number 14 we put here. 13 number we are from here we we put here in. NC point. Okay, this wire coming here, NC point, fire interlock device. There is fire interlock device inside inside the building area, inside the house, inside the shopping complex, mall, school, wherever you, our unit is. This will be inside the building or maybe some, somewhere in outside also. So, if this device from here, our line voltage for 24 volt going this device NC point. It means this on the always close point. So, this goes from close point, it's coming to here, it means if we make isolator on, power on, our line neutral voltage will activate, uh, will can come and after coming voltage, this will supply power to this transformer line neutral and transformer will supply 24 volt and 24 volt coming here at point. If there is a no fire, no any fire, all are normal, so this will always at point. So it will come back. This coming from here. This will come back here and come back here directly to A1. A1, what is A1? 13 number, our relay, in our relay, in our relay, this 13 number is A1. A1 means coil voltage phase. Okay. So if there is a fire, suppose if there is a fire inside the building, if there is fire, this NC will become you know. This NC will become you know, meaning this contact will open here. Okay. If this contact will open, this transformer will not supply 24 volt to our relay. If our relay don't not energize, it means this NC will become NC, this NO will become NC. As it is before, this will not change. But if there is no fire, normally, so
so it will change it will change what happen this when it, its energy is released coil voltage energy then this nc will become you know and you know will become nc so here look this line voltage is already here okay so from line we are giving power to this no point from no point we are giving power hp this only line this is series okay this is not a uh, uh, parallel line this series line one line only from line we are taking and giving this over so this coming from here coming from coming coming to hp then lp then lp then ndf hp meaning high pressure switch lp meaning low pressure switch np motor protected somewhere it we are using ssps also which is solid state solid state protective system somewhere we are using this is different name np ssps these are all are different so this we are using this all are not different this all are same so here we are using np or maybe ssps so from hp it will come to np it will come to np then it will come to ntis after ntis after ntis sensor it will come to our uh, overload relay there is 95 number 96 number so it will come to 95 96 if there is also overload is also okay it's mean there is no overload no nothing so it will transfer this always nc point overload also always remain nc point if there is no problem then this is nc if there is some problem this will become no so now there is no problem so it will go through here go through here and it will come to our contact voltage this a1 compressor conductor contact voltage command voltage demand whatever we saw in meter this uh, this all come here if this come here it will energize compressor okay after it will energize compressor so the here we are using auxiliary auxiliary in compressor conductor we are using some auxiliary no point and c point for auxiliary okay so so this conductor will energize then this no will become nc and nc will become no as usual you know and whenever uh, conductor or relay coil is energized always nc will become no and no will become nc so here we are giving this from no we are giving from nc this are going to pilot light there is a in a control panel we are uh, we all always see there is a two light on of light showing it is compressor is off compressor is on like that so there is a red light so this coming from here from in compressor nc point okay this nc point coming here this line voltage and neutral we are giving separate and here this neutral to this green line also so this auxiliary when it start compressor it will uh, energize compressor uh, energize conductor this, this nc will become you know it means this red light is off meaning red light is off meaning now compressor is running and this no will become nc meaning this compressor is running so it will come here and this light will indicate you can so go to control panel room and hu room you can so there is a green light working so it's meaning the compressor is working so that's the wiring diagram and uh, if you have any question you can ask me in comments section and if you like my video then like and subscribe now this is my third video i am now this is beginning only whatever i know i want to share here so you people if you don't have knowledge regarding this control and wiring and all so you can like my video i will be share here all my experience and knowledge whatever i will share in this channel okay friends